When young Brayden Webb fell seriously ill during a Disney cruise, the ship's doctor recognized the need for urgent medical attention. However, given the ship's location, it was clear that getting him to a hospital would be far from straightforward. Ultimately, it fell upon the Coast Guard to launch an epic sea rescue mission to aid Brayden before it was too late. The Webb family, consisting of parents Melanie and Alan, their eldest child Ben, and twins Brayden and Bella, called the city of Calhoun in North Georgia their home. In the summer of 2016, they were eagerly preparing for the adventure of a lifetime. Melanie and Alan had long held a dream of taking their children on a Disney cruise, and in July of that year, the Webb set sail on what promised to be a memorable journey. Little did they know that this vacation would indeed be unforgettable, but for reasons they could not have anticipated. For the most part, the trip went smoothly until the final day at sea. On that fateful day, the family had started off with high hopes of enjoying the ship's numerous fun activities. However, by early afternoon, Brayden, usually the family's cheerful joker, appeared uncharacteristically unwell. Recalling that day's events, Alan recounted to Fox 5 Atlanta in 2017. We got up that Thursday, had breakfast, and enjoyed the water slides on the ship. Around noon, Brayden said, Dad, I'm tired. I want to go lie down. Though Alan found his son's request unusual, he agreed. Soon after, things took a concerning turn. Alan described, I took Brayden back to the room while my wife went off with the other two kids, and he slept for three and a half hours. This unusual behavior prompted Alan to seek medical attention for Brayden. Little did Alan know that Brayden's condition was rapidly deteriorating, deeply troubling his father. Alan revealed, By the time I got Brayden down to the infirmary, I was having to hold him in my arms, he just couldn't move. It became evident that Brayden was experiencing severe abdominal pain and swelling, baffling the ship's doctor. After conducting tests, the doctor made a drastic and life-saving decision. He summoned the ship's captain to halt the vessel so the Coast Guard could retrieve the ailing child. The Coast Guard arrived promptly and the urgency was palpable. Alan later recollected, from the time they loaded us on a fast boat to the moment we reached the doors of the ER, only 30 minutes had passed. Upon their arrival at an emergency room in Miami, Florida, the Webb family received a devastating diagnosis. Doctors at the hospital suspected that Brayden, then six years old, was suffering from abdominal cancer. In light of this shocking news, the Webb sought counsel from their own physician back home. Their doctor recommended that they urgently take Brayden to the AFLAC Cancer Center. Melanie and Alan heeded this advice, and within hours, they and their children were on a flight to Atlanta, heading straight to the AFLAC Cancer and Blood Disorder Center of Children's Healthcare. Shortly after their arrival at the hospital, the tests confirmed the grim reality. Brayden was indeed battling cancer. A malignant tumor had spread throughout his abdomen, and it was already at stage three, painting a bleak picture for the young boy's prognosis. In an interview for the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta website, Alan later shared, I asked the doctor, what are the odds? He responded, Brayden has a 15% chance of surviving this. Despite this devastating revelation, Brayden's family remained resolute in their determination to combat the disease. To combat the cancer, Brayden underwent a grueling regimen of 14 rounds of chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Fortunately, the treatments seemed to be effective. In October 2016, Melanie shared on Facebook that her son's tumor had disappeared. In an ecstatic update, Melanie, the jubilant mother, shared, Thank the Lord. We have received Brayden's MRI results, and they show that his tumor has vanished. All glory goes to God and a heartfelt thank you goes to all the prayer warriors. Nonetheless, Melanie emphasized that Brayden's journey was not yet complete. He still required surgery to confirm the complete eradication of cancer. Fortunately, the subsequent operation proved successful. In early 2017, nine months after his initial diagnosis, doctors delivered the wonderful news that Brayden was officially cancer-free. Describing the moment he realized Brayden's battle was won, 
Alan expressed that it felt as though his son had turned a significant corner. After nine months, my wife and I were blessed with a healthy boy. It was akin to Brayden being born anew, he shared with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. With the cancer behind them, Brayden and his family could once again embrace a future together. The Webbs would forever hold deep gratitude for the exceptional care provided by the dedicated staff at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Reflecting on Brayden's ordeal, his relieved father remarked, We are immensely thankful that we reside near Atlanta in the AFLAC Cancer Center. The love within these walls and the unwavering commitment of the staff to this cause are truly remarkable. Despite receiving the all clear, Brayden would continue to undergo scans every three months at the AFLAC Cancer Center. In the meantime, the young boy was busy creating cherished memories with his family. Based on his father's Facebook updates, it appeared that Brayden had fulfilled his dream of visiting Disneyland, even making it to the one in Paris, France.